listen, you obviously were picked seventh overall, but then you look and Ben picked sixth, the back-to-back Canadian presence at the top of this draft class. What does that mean for this country on a national stage? I mean, it means a lot, you know. A lot of people think of, of Canada as a hockey hockey country, but, I mean, me and Ben just really put in um, Canada on the map with basketball is, is crazy. I'm making animal right now. Auto Hoopers, post a dunk using this sound. If you don't got a rim or like a portable rim at your house, don't worry we about it. We ask Shaden Sharp who he's looking forward to dunking on in the NBA. Dunking on? Ah, uh, probably LeBron. I mean, just because, you know, everybody knows him as the greatest player. So it'll probably just be LeBron, honestly. Shade and Sharp does a great job of. Here's Sharp. Quick reel to go here in the first half. Sharp step back. Uh, about this outfit is probably the, the jacket got my little logo on it just you know a cool black it's a little low key I do mock drafts have this NBA prospect listed as a top five pick even though he was too scared to suit up for his college season this is Shaden Sharp and if you don't know who he is he was the number one ranked high school player in the class of 2022 before reclassifying to play for Kentucky this past collegiate season but that never happened because he wanted to maintain his draft stock value the reason NBA scouts are so hopeful of this kid is because he is a 6'6 guard with a 7 foot wingspan equipped with the most complete and mature scoring repertoire for an 18 year old. His size combined with his impressive athleticism and an elite shot making ability makes Sharp an intriguing NBA prospect. But some NBA scouts are skeptical because people have yet to see him play competitively this past year and even declined to participate in the NBA combine. The last time he was seen in action was last summer at the Nike EYBL where he averaged 22 points on 48% shooting and 5 rebounds. This makes Sharp the most risky pick in this year's NBA draft. Travel or not? Who else? Uh, OKC, Orlando, um, Charlotte, Spurs, um, and there's a couple. There's other ones. It's, yeah, all over the place, honestly. Group workouts you do, are they usually, you know, you're the only guy that's like projected to go in the lottery? Or oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, we have um, high-level players um, in my workouts as well, uh, like top 10 players. So, yeah. I feel like I got more to prove just because I didn't play uh, for like a whole year. So it's kind of taking, um, like, skipping a step kind of. Um, but, I mean, I feel like I'm doing good throughout this process and everything. So, um, I mean, it's cool to say that I'm a little mystery. But, I mean, being a basketball player, I feel like you should always want to have a chip on your shoulder. Uh, just prove to yourself, you know, you can be the best player and everything. So.